There is a machine that you use every day that doesn't plug in, take batteries, or operate on gasoline or foot power. It's your heart. And why it keeps on beating nonstop for a lifetime is a genuine mystery. Some people believe it's a perpetual motion machine or proof of a spiritual life force. And for more than a billion people, the vital energy that keeps you alive has a name. It's called Qi. And Qi, the Chinese believe, is yours to command. In Western culture, time is money. You can't be too rich or too thin, but you can have it all, including the stress and illness that go along with it. The fight to get ahead and stay there takes its toll physically and psychologically. It's the downside of the American dream. In China, the road to success and well-being is paved with Qigong, an ancient healing system just taking hold in the West. Imagine the hands are touching the blue sky. Deliver Qi into the brain. In workshops throughout the U.S., Qigong master Luke Chan teaches students how to gather and exchange the healing power called Qi. You do have the power. You have the self-healing power. So it's not something that I am the master and I'm the healer, so I take care of you every time you come in. No, we teach you a method so that you can take care of yourself at home. Qi means energy. Gong means daily effort. Practitioners of Qi Gong believe that Qi is energy that flows throughout the universe and flows through our bodies, energy that can be directed at physical and emotional pain. Chan teaches Qi Leo, a special form of Qi Gong. All you that disappear now. Practitioners believe that although there is qi everywhere, it is not everywhere in equal measure. Qi can be gathered into a concentrated energy field, so the larger the group, the more healing energy there is for everyone. And then while you're moving, you, you are visualizing that actually the whole body disappears in the universe, including your illness, just disappear, just disappear. And then when you get the life energy in, you get the love, the energy into your body. And then meanwhile, you confirm, or you, you confirm to yourself, the illness disappear. So once you are in this chi field, or loving chi field, you're not alone. Means that we all, as individuals, have the right to be here, to be free, to be free of sickness. Luke Chan's own teacher is Chi Leo Grandmaster Dr. Pong Ming an esteemed physician schooled in both Eastern and Western medicine. In 1988, Dr. Pong garnered international attention when he opened the world's largest drug-free hospital. Without so much as a single aspirin, Dr. Pong claims his center has helped 130,000 patients curing heart disease, kidney, and gallbladder stones, leukemia, bone cancer, diabetes, and arthritis. And even Deborah Weissenberger was so motivated by her success with Luke Chan, she went to China to see Dr. Pong. When I arrived in China, we exercised with about 3,000 people. Some people were very young, some people were very old, people in stretchers, and everyone was visualizing the same positive environment in order to heal themselves. I, I saw what we would call a miracle every day. Several times a day, a dozen times a day. I saw um, a young boy who was blind suddenly be able to see. I saw numerous people with tumors and the tumors disappeared. All the people were working together. It's not like just one person is healing one other person. It's the entire community of people working together so the thinking is all as one. I looked the same on the outside but it changed me internally for the rest of my life. In 1994, Don Rutherford received a devastating diagnosis. Don had MS, multiple sclerosis, a crippling degenerative disease that can be fatal and for which there is no cure. MS attacks the nervous system and the brain. Death is often agonizingly slow. When I was first told I had it, I was not scared as much as in shock. I just figured it was over. Um, it's kind of like uh, 
getting ready to die, I guess, or going to battle. Your dad. Neurologist Dr. Karen Thalinger made the diagnosis. The, some of the most common symptoms would be um, transient loss of vision in one eye, double vision, uh, an area of numbness over a part of the face, uh, arm or leg. Other patients can have uh, difficulty with speech. The most severe case would be when the patient could be totally bedridden, immobile, mute, and blind. On a good day, I would stagger. On a bad day, I would sit down and I'd go anywhere. The illness is there. Now what do I want to do with it? Do I want to die with it? Doing the movement, number one, does several things. The first thing it does is it puts me in control. With use of this, and it doesn't happen overnight, but with practice, uh, the quality of your life will improve. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing special or miraculous. I do the work, I get the payoff. It's that simple. I don't think I know it's alleviating symptoms because I can tell you that just by being in here and noticing. It changed my life completely. There may be no scientific measure for the power of chi, but in New York, City University professor Joan Gondola was ready to try anything after years of back pain aggravated by stress. What are we doing? How fast? When? How, when can we eat? When do we stop? When do we do this? That's what we've evolved to. So much of a rush. We don't even know who we are. Joan came to Chi Lail not for a cure, but for a way to relax, refocus, and figure out who she really was. With wisdom comes compassion, because one reaches out and knows that the wisest thing is that self is only a small part of what the universe is about. I believe that I have become wiser and more compassionate. More of us that do that, the more the world changes. If we inside of ourselves make peace, then the world has to change. People brush their teeth, and then you brush your teeth every day, and then your teeth last longer. And if you do qi or qi 15 minutes a day, your body will last longer. You become younger. Forward, slowly. We are not saying that we're replacing the doctors. Just like you brush your teeth, you go to see your dentist. It's something you really look forward to doing every uh, morning because basically you massage your body every day. You feel so good, you feel so good. So as soon as people realize it, it's good for them. And they will do it. There are many claims about the power of chi and what it can do for you. But some claims, especially those relating to spontaneous healing, are extremely controversial. According to Master Luke Chan, chi is not about making miracles. It's about improving the energy that you're born with.